Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Warcast, and welcome to our series about Pico 8 and developing video games. And uh, I will be, we will be together developing a game. I'm going to do, uh, show you how to develop a, a very simple game. Uh, I want to go for a, like a breakout clone. We're going to start with Pong and then we can upgrade this to Breakout or Arkanoid, uh, if you are familiar with uh, the game under that name. Um, so, you know, showing you the very basics, this is seriously like for people who have never touched programming or if they maybe did program at some point but forgot all the things or maybe they just want to know how programming works in Pico 8. All right, so we're gonna start programming by pressing escape. I love that part. I love that. I love that you just press one button and it's, you immediately start programming things. Love it. Cool. So a program basically, what a program is, is basically like a laundry list or like a checklist for a computer. You know, first you do this, then you do this, you, and the computer does it in sequence or maybe like a shopping list. Um, you, you have like different commands and the computer does it like in, in order. So like a very simple command that you can do immediately and we're going to start today with something called hello world which is basically means like it's the simplest program ever just so you know how programming works in this specific language so we're going to go print and you can see as i'm typing it turns from gray into green green means pico 8 is is like gotcha gotcha fam i understand exactly what you're saying you're saying i should print something and that's that that's that's exactly what we're trying to do here then we're going to open a bracket is that bracket or parentheses? I always get those two confused. Well, whatever. We're just going to get the other thing now. I think that's parentheses, right? So bracket parentheses. And then whatever we put inside the parentheses will get printed on the screen. Let's go hello world. There we go. Simplest program ever. Just one command. Print hello world. And you can see it has to be blue inside and you have to close the parentheses. If it's blue inside, it means, okay, this is just a piece of text. That's what, that's what blue means in this thing. All right, so we're going to press escape now. And we're going to go type and run. And it prints hello world. Easy peasy for breezy. Uh, let us let us let us let me show you some additional commands so we know what's up. So first of all, I really like the CLS command. I think it needs an opened and closed parentheses as well. CLS means clear the screen because, as you saw, you know when we start Hello World and printed Hello World right underneath our run order, and that's kind of lame. We want to like kind of you know tabula rasa wipe the screen. So when now when I press press run, it says Hello World on 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 the top of the screen. Cool thing good because we cleared the screen and we started like type, uh, writing things on top of the screen good and as i could, as i already told you you can make like because it's like a program right so it has like multiple things on there so you can make like multiple things you can write you know a whole whole text and we sh we did it already previously so gonna do it again never gonna give you up uh, ne oops never gonna let you down never go run around and desert is that how you Pronounce it. Uh, maybe it's dessert. You, uh, you, and then the last one. So right. So this is like you know four lines of a very famous song. Bam! Rickrolled just just there. Beautiful. You have a Rickroll program going on here. Perfect. Cool. So if you really like this kind of program, you're like, hey, this is this is cool. You can go like, all right, uh, save. Rick roll. Wait a minute. Which direction are we in? The directory are we in? Okay. We're gonna go save Rick Rick roll. Bam. And now it's saved it as Rick roll P8. So every time you wanna you wanna Rick roll somebody, you can just go like load a Rick Rick roll and run. And then bam, it's back again. Or you can even go like as I showed you in a first episode, you can go with explore. And go like Rickroll. Yes, I want to get Rickrolled now. Oh, 
Interesting. Oh, so the problem is like the, the program executes but ends immediately, so we're back in explore immediately, so you have to go like out and then run it again. But this is you know, this is basic stuff. This is basic stuff. We're gonna show you some more complicated stuff right now. Because these green things are so-called functions. Uh, functions that are kind of come with Pico 8. And you can do a lot of things with those functions. So for example, you saw that when we run this, right? When we run this, the next line of text is always underneath the previous line. But sometimes you want to put text in a specific place, right? For example, in a video game, you want to maybe put text on the bottom of the screen and it's going to be the score or the number of lives you have left and then do something else on different part of the screen, right? So you want to like move around things maybe on the screen. We're going to show you how this works. So you're going to take just one of the lines. Uh, I'm going to start a new line. And by the way, you can you can be like, I'm going to say nothing and then another command and it will just execute just fine. It just ig ignores empty lines. So we're going to go print hello. Oh, I, let's, let's make a card. How do I do this? I always get those weird um, characters. Uh, because I I forget that this doesn't have upper and lower case characters. It's a very simple system, no upper and lower case, which eliminates a lot of the problems with, with the regular programming languages, and that's why I love it. Oh look, there's a little nice cute thing. But if you hold Shift and press different characters on the keyboard, you get like different things. Ah! Oh, there it go. H is heart. Print Shift H heart, and I'm gonna put this in parentheses. Right? And then after the parentheses, you put in a comma, which means we're not done yet. There is more to this print than just the heart. There is, there is shit coming down the pipe. Be, be prepared, Pico 8. And we're gonna go, we're gonna type, type in numbers. 30, another comma, 30, another comma. I have to consult my, my, uh, I think. Uh, let's go with eight. I have like, um, uh, cheat sheet here. You can print this out. I will post the link in the doobly-doo. It's a German cheat sheet. It's it's a very good cheat sheet. It's a German one, so you might not understand exactly everything, but it's just a little reminder. And the cheat sheet down here, because he will define the, the color of the text. And a cheat sheet has like this this thing here where it's like all of the colors in here. But if you don't have the cheat sheet, uh, you can look those colors up uh, elsewhere in documentation of PK. So don't be worried about that. So I'm going to explain you what the numbers mean. The 30 is the X coordinate. So where the text the starts, uh, like from the left uh, edge of the screen going to the right. So 30 pixels from the left edge of the screen, we're going to start printing. And the second text, I'm going to go 35, just so we have like a difference here. The second th uh, um, number is the Y coordinate. So how far we are from the top edge of the screen going down. So it's basically 30 pixels to the right and 35 pixels from the top. Very simple system. Every programming language uses the system. Get used to it. It's very simple. The entire screen of the Pico 8 is 128 pixels. Um, something that is um, important to keep in mind is that the, you know, the, the very first pixel is zero. So it's actually the last pixel is 127 not 128 but that's something that comes later so 30 35 so we should get it somewhere here i think and then the 8 is the color of the text so we want to have a red heart right here let's see if this works bam i told you it works and it's like ah i'm going to i i want to have the heart further down Oh, actually, further right. <laughs> okay, further down. I make mistakes. That, that's that's completely normal. There we go. Heart is goes further down. So you can already maybe think, already see how using this kind of thing, you like just manipulating the numbers on on these functions, you can start moving around things. You can have a heart bouncing around and stuff like that. All of the cool things. But how that works, we're gonna explore in the next episode. Join me next time. See you guys.